It's a condition that affects more than 400,000 Texans, Alzheimer's. This is according to the Alzheimer's Association. In honor of World Alzheimer's Day, tomorrow I'm joined live by caregivers Tate Wilder and Bobby Shores to tell us more about how they're helping caregivers train on working with patients who have Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for your time. Good morning. Uh, as we know, this can be a very sensitive topic, a difficult conversation to have with loved ones uh, when it comes to a, a loved one of theirs showing signs of uh, a form of dementia. Talk to us about uh, what we need to be on the lookout for and how to facilitate these types of conversations. Yeah, someone who's experiencing these sorts of uh, events, they're going to have memory loss. Uh, they may have confusion over place and time. They may be unable to complete familiar tasks. They may have mood and personality changes. So you really want to start at a level of compassion and understanding with them. Be patient. It's a scary and confusing time for them. And really just start the conversation with, we want what's best for your well-being, and we're trying to look after you. Yeah. Bobby, with that, talk to us about right at home's dementia live training program and what this entails for people wanting to know more. Yes, sir. So there are two parts. Um, we have an online dementia focused training courses, um, and then we have an in person immersive training. Um, the caregivers will come in, they will gear up, um, they wear specific gloves, they wear eyewear that reduces their vision. Um, as dementia progresses in the brain, it um, these senses are you know greatly affected. Um, after that, they put on headphones. We put them in an experience room, and they are given specific tasks to complete or attempt to complete. And um, after that, we go into the empowerment session, go over you know what they experienced, the challenges they faced, um, and then give them the tools to provide a better quality of care for their patients. Mm -hmm. And as we know, this care can entail a lot. It, it's it's often heavy. It's a heavy lift, both physically and emotionally. Talk to us, Tate, about how one can uh, aim to avoid burnout, if at all possible. Uh, Self-care is so important in this situation. If you're not taking care of yourself, how can you take someone care of somebody else, especially one of your loved ones? It's really difficult for loved ones to take a break. They feel like uh, they should do all the work and they need to realize that taking care of themselves is important. So look for the resources out there. Uh, right at Home provides respite services. There's a lot of other resources that provide services that will give family members a break, let them recharge their batteries, um, take some time for themselves, and then they can come back strong and really take care of their loved ones. Yeah, I, I'm sure you've, you've helped so many folks. Uh, any success stories that come to mind that you want to share with us today? Uh, I mean, they're all success stories. Yeah. When we get a chance to educate our staff, uh, to educate our families, the outcome for our seniors is much better. They get to live a higher quality of life in their homes for a longer period of time. Um, and that's a success all around. So it, you could name any one of our families that we've had an opportunity to provide that for, and it's been a success. And for more information, where can folks go? Well, RightAtHome.net. Uh, they'll give you uh, the locations of all of the Right at Home offices in your area. Um, and so just get online, RightAtHome.net, and you'll find the location nearest you. Tate and Bobby, thank you so much for your time this morning. We do appreciate it.